Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, I guess, if you're watching in the afternoon. What is up, guys? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Fishing with the Pack, Guys, today, in this video, we're gonna be doing some topwater frog fishing. We're gonna use a black zoom frog versus a white zoom frog. And I wanna test a couple of things in this video. I wanna test what gets bit more, black or white. And I also wanna test if these soft plastic frogs hookup ratio is better or the same or worse than a hollow body frog, like a booyah or a spro or something like that. But before we get into the video, guys, I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Night Eyes right here for sponsoring today's video. Super awesome, super cool adventure kit, okay? We're gonna talk about it a little bit later on in this video. So without further ado, let's go catch some fish, guys. Let's get to fishing. I literally got zero sleep last night. No joke, have not even been to sleep since yesterday morning. So I usually don't fish in the mornings. Well, at least I haven't in like a month. So I'm already up, I'm already at him. I'm gonna give it a shot. There's a good one. Oh God. Here we go, baby. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's a good one. There's a good one. Perfect hook set too, by the way. We gotta get him logged up on the fishing tag app. There we go, baby. That's exactly what we needed. A nice 20 incher this morning. He's a little skinny, but a tad bit skinny. Right off the drain. All right, dude. Thanks for the fight. We'll catch you next time. You know, one thing that I really, really love about fishing early in the morning like this, just being able to watch those bass key in and hone in and just like chase your bait down your top water specifically first fish of the morning ended up being a good one we gotta start adding some inches up for this tournament right now i'm in third place uh, i was in first but there's a guy from korea he's killing it and then uh, i think it's trevor from texas he's killing it too man they they are they are really putting in work in this tournament but let's get back to fishing and see if we can catch a couple more what the hell was that Little bitty ass fish. Oh gosh. Was not expecting you to be right there. <laughs> yeah, you've been caught before, huh? All right, let's log you up real quick. All right, ladies and gents, another one on the frog. Thanks for, uh, thanks for playing. Now I'll go tell your grandpa to play. Not a bad morning so far. We got two on the frog. I actually switched up and started, let me see if I can show you guys. Started using these, these type frogs. And the reason is I wanted to test the difference in hookup ratio with these versus like your standard Spro or Booyah or whatever popping or walking frog, whatever. I wanted to test the hookup ratio. So after uh, further examination, give me a couple weeks and I'll make a video breaking that down and uh, I'll get that to you guys. So, are you guys pumped to see that? Because I'm, I'm pumped to make it. All right, anyways, let's get back to fishing. There we go, baby. That's number three. And he spit it. I don't think he was big, though. How'd he spit that? That's ironic that I just got done talking about the hookup ratio. That might have been bad hook set angle or something. We're gonna go with bad hook set angle. All right, guys, nice little quick morning topwater frog session. I'm going to go watch some college football now. So I will see you guys here in 1.3 seconds. Before we go out and put that white frog to use, there's something really quick that I want to show you guys. Something really cool that I came across and that I'm going to be doing a lot of cool stuff with here in some upcoming videos. I stumbled across this thing called Night Eyes Adventure Kit. Check this out, check out what's inside this box. So I actually have the sportsman's version of the Night Eyes kit and a bunch of cool stuff in this box, guys. So my favorite item in this box right here, guys, is probably gonna be this waterproof pouch, right? So you can take like your phone, your car keys, whatever you want to, and you can stuff them down in here. And this thing is slim, so everything sits perfectly. And you can just slide this down in your tackle bag, or a bigger tackle box, or like I do under the seat of my kayak because it's such a small space, 
everything stays extremely organized and extremely waterproof using this bag. So that's always a plus when you uh, when you don't go out fishing and get your phone soaking wet. It's always a plus. All right guys, the next item we've got here is the bigger size waterproof bag. So this is the small one and this is the big one. You can actually put, I mean, I don't even know, you can put a ton of stuff in this bag. Same thing, easy, easy storage, easy fold storage, depending on what you've got in this bag. Fold it, you zip it, airtight, water doesn't get in and your stuff doesn't get ruined. Nobody likes ruined electronics, nobody likes ruined anything. A few other things we had in the box, guys. We've got these right here, these gear ties. Now, you have probably seen these used before on generally anything, all right? You can tie stuff together. Basically, what you do is you can have these, and they, they're they like, they're bendy, right? So you can twist them around anything, and they stay. Check that out. So what you'll see a lot of guys do is exactly this right here. You'll see a lot of guys take their, uh, their baits on their fishing poles. Easy, easy money tie these bad boys up just like that and they stay put they stay exactly where you want them actually speaking of these we use these a lot in the army uh with our radios and our antennas sticking way up when we bring our antennas down because things are like 10 foot long we would wrap one of these around it really quick keep it in place and all you gotta do is that and you're done boom put your radio up you're ready to go so that's also another favorite item of mine that came out of this box next up we've got some little carabiner s beaner keychain things right here i actually use these on my keychain my, my truck keys right here and cool thing about these is they lock in place right so when you lock them you can't open you can't open these but when you unlock them by this little black piece right here when you unlock them then you can actually bend these down and stuff that's another really cool feature i haven't seen that before that's it's pretty cool so you know like 100 percent sure whatever you put on this thing whatever you put on this thing is not going to fall off and then the last few items that we got in this box right here guys the clip case it's like a phone case we've got a travel holster actually you could clip these things on the side of your kayak or on the side of your tackle bag or on the back of your tackle bag actually because when you're walking you don't really want an uneven bag so if you put it directly on the back of your bag Perfect. I learned that in jungle school when I was stationed in Hawaii, actually. And then we've got another little keychain thing right here. You can actually use this. It's a bottle opener. It's like a scraper. You can scrape stuff with it. It's got a serrated edge right here. You can use that to cut even braid fishing line. I've cut like 100 pound fishing line out there fishing for snook and tarpon. And then we've got this little phone thing right here. You can use this. You can put it on your boat right beside your steering wheel. Basically what it is, it's got this little ball right here. You put it on, it, it like suction cups to your boat, and then you attach the other piece right here to the back of your phone. And then boom, you can set your phone and it twist and turn. That's another really cool thing, especially, I mean, you can even use it in your truck or your car, or whatever, when you're driving, hands-free. All right, guys, this adventure kit is gonna be linked down in the description below. All the links that you need to check this stuff out down in the description, do me a solid, go check them out. Even if you don't buy one, just go look at them. I can almost guarantee you'll find something that you'll really like, but let's get back to fishing. And we're back. So it's actually uh, 1.2 seconds for you guys and about 10 hours for me. Anyways, we threw the black horny toad this morning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna throw the white one. We're gonna see if that makes a difference. Let's get to fishing. What a beautiful day to be in South Florida. I ain't gonna mess with you. So for the OGs of the Yak Squad, earlier this year, I think it was like January or something, I caught my old personal best out of this pond right here this golf course pond seven and a half pounds caught him right like right over there on that side we're gonna walk down this way actually we're gonna go around this way because we can't go that way i hate when you make the perfect cast and this happens ruins the whole the whole thing perfect cast oh we had a follower Oh God, I'm the world's, look, this hook set game is something serious. Holy mother of smokes. This dude is probably in shock right now. My man didn't even get a chance to fight this. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> he swiped at it the first time and I was like, okay, let's see if you really want it. Six and a half hours later. I'm about to sell my YouTube channel. I fished that entire golf course. I caught one fish, one fish. All right guys, we're finally back at the house. You can see it's pretty dark outside. Let's put you down right here real quick, nice and easy. There we go. All right, guys, listen. 
Uh, earlier in this video, I mentioned something about testing the hookup ratio with uh, those type of frogs versus hollow bodied frogs, okay? Now, everybody, if you're not new here to the channel, then you know I'm a huge advocate of the hollow body frog, like your, your Spro or your Booyah or whatever the brand you can think of, huge advocate of those. Uh, I am new to trying the horny toad frogs, okay? Now, I'm not being a huge fisherman of those. Actually, I just recently started fishing those. Uh, thanks to my buddy Christian down in Boca. Uh, he kind of put me on those, and, and I've, I've fell in love with them ever since. So, more to follow on that. But as of right now, I, I don't notice a huge difference in hookup ratios. Give me a couple more weeks. Let me do a little more experiments with some different colors and stuff like that just to make sure the fish are really biting that frog. And I'll get back to you guys and let you know my final thoughts on the horny toad versus a regular hollow body frog or a popping frog, whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. But anyways, listen, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Night Eyes. Link down in the description. I love all of you. Thanks for all the support. We're on the road to 50K. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch y'all next time.